Alrighty, what's up? This is Z Dog. So, I was a couple days off <laughs> on when the new season would start. I was off about three or four days, I think. I didn't expect them to actually continue letting us collect stuff a week after it ended. It happens sometimes, though. So, Dunes of Magic has ended. But you can still claim prizes for a little while longer. Let's take a look at the prizes in the market before it closes. So they're allowing us to go through here. Pick out our stuff that you want. Now obviously I don't have, I don't really have much. You know, what I'll probably end up having to do is seeing if I can't buy some egg pedestals. Because mm, I don't have enough to buy a dragon. But we go in here, we can look at some stuff, find out what's going on with these. My recommendation... I mean, if you've been collecting and you haven't been spending nothing, my recommendation, get these on the far right. Get these, uh, this. Get these right here. These are attachments to these particular dragons. Get them. I think there's like seven of them. And those are going to be important later on. They're just pieces. Each season, uh, they offer these. So, they still have a few things that are nice in there. The other thing that I would recommend, guys, and I'm just recommending, is make sure you get these pyramids. Um, they are humongous, humongous, okay, so big, I'm not going to lie to you, these are so big that I am literally considering moving some stuff around just so I can place these out there uh, for the sun dragon. Um, I do want this, um, oh, and we're going to put it right there for right now, we'll go back over in here, oh, we got to collect our daily rewards, getting close to that 100 day mark, guys, I'll have a free chance a free coin to uh try to get myself another island that's what i really want another island the more islands i can get the better off i'm going to be it's just taken for a long time anyways we was here and we were looking at this stuff here so make sure you get these uh items that they offer especially you want to get your um pathways like the artificial bone pathway to walkway. And there was, yeah, here it is. The Little Nile. That is also a walkway pathway. It's actually kind of nice. Make sure you get your sunken treasure ship. Your sunken treasure chest. A pile of gold and treasures. Make sure you get that. Here's another X marks to spot. It is also a, uh, st a, st a stepway a pathway. And make sure you get your island themes. Your island themes are important. Instead of having to buy the bundle package, when it is offered, collect and buy them. Uh, if you don't have any of these, these are actually suggested to get. You could upgrade if you want to, but it's going to cost you a lot of gems. 25, I believe. But right now, if you got 3,000 to spare, you might as well get the Mega or the Giant Habitats. They are important to have. 
and get your music, your melody habitats. And most of all, for anybody that's out there that hasn't done this yet, get your Twilight Tower and your Weather Station. The Twilight Tower and the Weather Station control the seasonal events, the music in the background, the coloring in the background, everything. It gives you your Halloween themes, uh, your summer themes, your treasure themes, the shooting star themes, the spring, summer, fall, autumn, all of your seasonals. Let's go in here and look at this real quick. Uh, I was thinking about getting the uh, Xandru Dragon, but I just didn't have the money this time. I My money got tied up in other stuff, guys. But there's some really cool dragons. I know some people out there like to save up just to get one rare dragon and then, like, breed them with, like, the elder dragons. To see what all dragons you can get which is a really good idea it really really is a good idea now you can take your water dragons or your Hawaiian water dragons and just breed them with other water dragons uh, breed, breed them with your elder dragons even uh, breed them with your galaxy dragons and uh, you'll get some amazing stuff out of them. All right, guys. Well, I mean, this is where we're at right now. I would say it says that we have one day, 15 hours, 34 minutes, and 51 seconds. So basically, we have about a day and a half. Well, actually, that's about two and a half days. Yeah, roughly. Uh, see, one out, one day, 15, 15 hours, and there's 24 hours. Yeah, about two, two and a half days. So, collect, collect, collect. And I've already done this. I am maxed out on so much stuff right now, it's not, not a joke. It, I've been playing this for a while. And before I think about it, I want to go over here to social. I want to go to friends, and by the way, I want to go visit Noggard. And boom, right there. I really wish that they would let us collect something other than a small amount of change. I really do. I mean, like hidden treasures, like maybe an egg or something, or. You know, maybe we get like a, a mystery dragon egg, a rare mystery dragon egg or something. Maybe uh, some gems or or maybe a hidden habitat or something. Now, the creator of this game has quite a few of these islands set up. Uh, out of the, shoot, oh my goodness. Almost 10 years that I've been playing this game. I have started over and over and over because I lost accounts. Uh, I have seen multiple islands hit, and they've had some really significant and spectacular stuff. So, and see how see how Nogger they got this. Uh, they don't even have the island themes on here, which is crazy. But uh, they got the pedestals surrounded up here around. Around that uh, arena, that's the Coliseum. That's really good, and I've literally thought about doing that in some aspect and turning like my colossal island into the uh, pyramid island. And uh, I think it, it would really, really do well. 
I'm just saying, I really think it would. But I'd have to reconstruct so much. I'd have to delete so much. And I just don't have the space to put stuff anywhere. I would need a separate island to move everything to so that I could even do that. If I do it, I will come back. I will show you how I'm going to do it. I'll even film myself recreating the island. So, let's go back to our island. Get those. And we'll just collect a few things here. Yeah, the treasure islands, treasure habitat. Get our gems out. Get a few things over here. And just to let you know before I go, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset uh, my themes for the for the season because um, it is uh, summer now, and it is not going to be long. It's going to sneak up on us, guys, but fall time is coming right around the corner this is the generally the hottest month and then next month is whenever things start to cool down so I'm going to want my seasons to represent and match what's going on in the real world looks like I got everything over here let's see up here dink 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 and I know that there's one more, the Earth Habitat. Ding, 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 ding. Wah, bah Let's go all the way down here. We got one more. Boom, right there. There's my older dragons. And everybody's getting along in there. That's nice to see. Take a good look at them. What are they doing? Some big dragons for such a small island. <laughs> and by the way, if you got your water dragon on here, uh, your water dragon will literally go inside the lake. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. All right. All right, let's go over here. Let's uh, do this real quick. Turn the volume up. By the way, I told you to get these things. We need to get the Twilight Tower and the Weather Station. The Twilight Star Tower and the Weather Station control everything. Twilight Tower right here. having a lot of rain lately. 
Just give them some rain and water the water everything. Nogger gave me a gem. Alright guys, this is Z Dog. Until next time.